Flavio Cunicosita has been running this restaurant for 13 years. He faced crises in the past, but nothing like 2020. As it began, there was hope for economic recovery in Brazil after years of slowdown. But then the pandemic and isolation measures hit, and Flavio had to resort to government loans just to keep his business afloat. We had to resort to the People's Bank of the State of São Paulo, and we got a loan which allowed us to pay our employees and also the most important bills like gas, water and electricity. Loans for small businesses and emergency grants for the poor were essential for millions of people to help support them throughout the pandemic. However, these expenses had strong impacts on public accounts, which will have to be dealt with in the near future. In one hand, it's very clear that we don't have this money right now. But in the other hand, if we don't spend this money helping the poorest one in Brazil, uh, it's very clear also that we won't have enough activity, economic activity, and 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 without economic activity, we won't, we will not, the government will not have the taxes to to improve their fiscal situation. There are some early signs of economic recovery, but it's still unclear how consistent they are. Strong commodities exports have been helping and are likely to continue, particularly due to Chinese demand. China recovered uh, before the other countries and, and is demanding much more than last year. We had an increase of 17% in our exports, agricultural exports to China, basically because of the recovery, fast recovery, but also because of the uh, swine fever uh, epidemi epidemic in China. For President Jair Bolsonaro, an economic bounce back would be important to retain some of the popularity he's maintained during the pandemic by approving payment of government emergency grants. His approval ratings are as high as they've ever been, yet a whole host of candidates he backed in local races lost in elections this fall. His government has been very unpredictable. So what I can, uh, what I can uh, uh, predict, maybe if it's possible, is that he will have uh, a lot of difficulties uh, in, in trying to be a viable candidate in the next election. I think this might be his main concern in, in the next year. 2020 has been a tough year for Brazil. There are hopes for a better 2021, but not many concrete signs that the new year will indeed bring better times. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo.